Sino resonance is an important topic in physics. In physics, in many fields, uh, just like atomic physics, nuclear physics, condensed matter physics, quantum optics, and these kind of uh, area, we can understand the Fano resonance. Especially this topic as this lecture as related to Fano resonance in quantum optics. Before discussing the Fano resonance in quantum optics, I want to discuss just a generalized one and I have written the Fano resonance. What is Fano resonance? Fano resonance can be absorbed and interference and Fano resonance arises from the interference of broad and narrow spectra of radiation. This is a general definition of Fano resonance and Fano resonance usually occurred in scattering process when electron electron uh, collide with each other and this uh, we can understand the uh, the Fano resonance. Actually the resonance is the resonance frequency where the detaining equal to zero this is called a resonance uh, frequency. So this Fano resonance first observed by Fano and Fano interference occurs in different branches uh, are already I have discussed in physics such as atomic physics, quantum optics, condensed matter physics and etc. Generally how we can understand the Fano resonance? This is a symmetric curve where at detaining at the resonance condition we get a uh, just like absorption is equal to zero and some other things we can uh, we can consider this is a symmetric curve you can see this is this one and this one is symmetric around this resonant frequency but if the the curve is not symmetric and it is known as asymmetric curve just like this and it is uh, away from this resonance condition it may have a this side and a this side no problem and this is called asymmetric curve and this is usually uh, phenol like shape is known as phenol resonance the 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 curve which is not at the resonance point at the resonance condition this is this is known as asymmetric curve and known as a phano resonance. So we can understand this from, uh, from this curve that it is away from this resonance condition. And further, how we can understand physically and quantum optics this phano resonance. Let's see. Fano resonance and quantum optics, it is a very, very important uh, topic in quantum optics and usually uh, the, the researcher uh, study this topic and to understand this already in quantum optics and quantum optics. We study the transmission of a profit when this propagates through. A medium.
in my previous lecture eit i already discussed eit in detail so let uh, we have this is an atomic media let's suppose this is an atomic media and this is a pro field and here when we apply a control field a pump field a control field this is a control field then due to this control field this medium become transparent for this pro field and we can get a transmission and this is atomic system and let's suppose uh, here there is some detuning delta p and if i apply this is a power field omega p and this is the control field omega c then this field can split the level and this is called a stark splitting and here this is a dress state this should be noted because i am going to discuss the phono resonance so dress state is very important this is addressed this is addressed state and this is also a two states are indistinguishable and here a decay come from here and a decay from here then here a quantum interference occur and one can get a transmission of the power field at resonance condition i already discussed this point and here if we plot the imaginary part of the optical susceptibility this is delta p is equal to zero and this is the resonance condition this should be noted this is a resonance condition delta p is equal to zero and one can get this is the imaginary of imaginary of chi if we find out the optical susceptibility and we find we we plot the imaginary of chi versus delta p then we can get just like uh, a shape and this is this is a symmetric one this one and this one this is the symmetric curve and here we can get the transparency the the power field when we apply the power field the the frequency of this power field and the transition between this and this is equal then at resonance condition the light must be transmitted so this is the concept of eit and we know that this electromagnetically induced transparency and we can get the symmetric curve. Now the situation becomes different. If the quantum interference occur between the dress state and the continuum state, you must, we must have this one and this one this is the dress state and this is the dress state and the quantum interference occur between these two dress state we can get a symmetric curve and we know this this is known as electromagnetically induced transparency now the situation becomes different if the the quantum interference occur between dress state and continuum state let's i want to discuss this point of the continuum state these states which we cannot recognize this uh, separately and this is a continuous like a continuous state and let's suppose a particle or electron is present here and one as this state this is the continuum state where we have this is the continuum 
state which has very high energy and this is the dressed state and with the the quantum interference the dk come from here and the dk come from here and here the quantum interference occur then in this situation that and this is also the quantum interference and in this situation if we plot the optical susceptibility the imaginary of chi and if this is delta p is equal to zero and in this situation if we have a curve like this so here this one and this one this is not a symmetric one the first point is clear this one and this one is not symmetric this is the absorption this is the absorption and here this is the transparency so at the first stage the curve is not asymmetric but asymmetric and here we get an absorption which is equal to zero so this is this is a phenol like shape this is a phenol like shape and now the point is what's the difference between a phenol resonance and eit let's suppose this is this is the imaginary of chi and let's say this is the this is delta p is equal to zero and here now what's the difference the main difference between the eit or omit both are the same eit we can also get the phenol resonance and up to mechanically induced transparency no problem we we can do we can we can obtain so now what's the difference between the eit and phenol resonance so here in both cases we can get the transparency because here you can get the transparency window and here you can get the transparency window these are the same we can get the transparency window the main difference is here the quantum interference occurs between two dress stress but here the quantum interference occurs between a continuum state and a dress state here the the curve are symmetric but here the curve are asymmetric so this is the difference we can get a transparency window here but here we can also a transparency window here away from the resonance condition but in resonance condition if you find out the group index or group delay you can get a steep dispersion in the phenol resonance as compared to the EIT or OMIT. So this phenol resonance is important. The phenol resonance we can get a steep dispersion due to which we can get a a high group index or group delay in a phenol resonance as compared to the EIT. So this is the main difference between EIT and phenol resonance. I think you will understand this point.